Let's study heart today. Heart is the most fascinating organ in our body which pumps blood throughout our life without getting fatigued. It is made up of cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles are the muscles which rhythmically contract and relax and make heart pump. So let's study heart today. Now heart is divided into four chambers. Let us see them. It has four chambers. Two upper chambers and two lower chambers. The upper chambers are named as auricle. These are the upper chambers. First one is this one and this one. There are two chambers and this one is known as right auricle and this one is known as left auricle. Now, these auricles are connected to other chamber known as ventricle. The lower chamber is known as the ventricle of heart. And these are connected by valves. The right auricle is connected to right ventricle by tricuspid valve. The left auricle is connected to right, uh, left ventricle through bicuspid valve. Now, these are the valves which connect auricles and ventricles. Beside them, there are two more valves in our heart. This one is pulmonary valve. This valve is connected from ventricle to pulmonary artery, which is carrying deoxygenated blood to lungs. Now, another valve is known as aortic valve. Aortic valve is connected from left ventricle to aorta which is carrying oxygenated blood from our heart to other body parts. Now these were the parts of heart. Four chambers, left, right auricle and left auricle. Lower one is uh, right ventricle and left ventricle. There are four valves. Number one is which is connecting right auricle to left auricle is known as tricuspid valve. The another valve which is connecting left auricle to left ventricle is known as bicuspid valve. Another valve which is connecting this one uh, pulmonary artery to ventricle. This right ventricle is known as pulmonary valve and another is aortic valve. Now let us study the mechanism of blood flow. This is really very interesting. Now start. Blood from various parts of our body is collected by veins and that is collected into the largest vein known as vena cava. Now vena cava is carrying the deoxygenated blood from various parts of our body to right auricle. Yes, this is right auricle and it is connected to vena cava. Vena cava is carrying deoxygenated blood and right auricle is receiving the blood. When it is receiving this wall is closed. After receiving the blood when it is filled with deoxygenated blood this valve tricuspid valve opens into the ventricle because of pressure high pressure then the blood flows to right ventricle. Now after when right ventricle is filled up uh, this contracts. This one right ventricle will contract and the blood will flow through pulmonary valve to lungs. Now in lungs it will get oxygenated. The carbon dioxide it was carrying before earlier will be exchanged with oxygen in the lungs. Now again pulmonary vein from the lungs will carry the oxygenated blood to left auricle. It will be filled. Same mechanism will be repeated but it will be in another chamber of our heart. Left auricle will receive the blood and when it will be filled, it will exert the pressure on bicuspid valve. Bicuspid valve will open into left ventricle. Now after left ventricle is filled, it will again contract and it will contract uh, the blood will flow through aortic valve to aorta and aorta is responsible for uh, transporting blood from heart to all other body parts. This mechanism is repeated 72 times in a 
minute and this is known as double circulation why this is known as double circulation this is known as double circulation because blood is passing through heart twice in a cycle first of all it is uh, coming to the right auricle to right ventricle and then right ventricle to pulmonary artery after the after uh, this purification it will again come to the heart in left auricle left auricle to left ventricle left ventricle to aorta with this we conclude the circulatory system in human beings in other modules we will be discussing respiratory system digestive system excretory system and reproductive system keep watching and keep studying goodbye students